Maryland holding a news conference announcing that Ralph Friedgen out as head coach. Your thoughts? Well, interesting. You, outside of Miami, Ohio, you could argue this has been the greatest turnaround in college football for the, for the year 2010. From 2-10 and 10 to 8-4, and four, coach of the year in the ACC. Not a lot of coaches coach of the year out of a job. Yeah, this has been the story kind of floating around now for a bit. The school had reportedly told Friedgen he wouldn't be allowed to coach next season, but how he left would be up to him. He elected not to retire, so the school is terminating him, owing him around $2 million. He will, however, coach Maryland against East Carolina in the Military Bowl on the 29th of this month. Ralph Friedgen started off awfully strong at Maryland. This team won 10 games, went to a BCS Bowl in his first season there. It was the team's first bowl game in 10 seasons. He won at least 10 games each of his first three seasons there, but in the seven seasons since, he's had a record of one game over 500. 74 and 50, his overall mark there as we bring in college football insider Joe Shad. Why is this happening right now, Joe? Well, Dari, it's happening because this is what athletic director Kevin Anderson wants. Ralph Friedgen was ACC Coach of the Year. What he wanted was a contract extension. He had recruits on campus this week. He wanted to be able to tell them that not only am I going to be here next year, but I'm going to be here moving forward. Well, with the departure of James Franklin, the coach in waiting at Maryland to Vanderbilt, that cleared up some financial flexibility for Maryland and Kevin Anderson, who didn't hire Ralph Friedgen. So he told Ralph Friedgen, listen, bottom line, long term, we want to go in a different direction, and that direction does not include you. Well, and, and the direction may include Mike Leach. We keep hearing the name of the former Texas Tech head coach. How hot is that rumor? Adari, very, very hot. Mike Leach is the overwhelming favorite to be the next Maryland coach for a few reasons. Even though Fridge and Dari had some reasonable success at Maryland, he didn't have an overwhelmingly exciting offense. He wasn't a very colorful character. He didn't stir interest in ticket sales. Those are the things that Maryland thinks Mike Leach will likely be able to do. I'm told that Leach has already contacted some potential members of his Maryland coaching staff. Kevin Anderson is going to interview some people, but I believe that the overwhelming choice here, Mike Leach, Dar. All right, so uh, Joe Shad with the latest there. By the way, let's update. They did announce just moments ago Maryland will buy out the remainder of Regents' contract and owe him about $2 million. It will be effective January of 11. So we're talking a couple of weeks from now, but after he coaches uh, Maryland against East Carolina in the military bowl. This we know. Whether it's Leach or anybody else, whoever takes over the Maryland program is going to pick up a program in much better condition than when Friedgen took it over. Again, in the 10 seasons before he got there, the Terps had one winning season and did not go to a single bowl game. ESPN's Scott Van Pelt is a Maryland alum. He's a friend of that Terps program, so we thought Let's bring him into college football live. It's big news concerning your alma mater, Scott. How fair do you think all of this is to Ralph Friedgen? Well, Dory, I think I would want to frame anything I say uh, first by just being, you know, being completely honest here. I've known Ralph and his wife, Gloria, for, for 10 years, and uh, I've been involved with them in Ralph's charity golf event in the summertime for the football program. So these are people that you become friends with, and so you try to, you try to objectively weigh in here. Uh, the man took the team to, to seven bowls in 10 seasons and really resuscitated a program that had some history dating back to the 50s and under Claiborne in the 70s, won a bunch of ACCs, but really was, was off the grid. So at, at face value, to look at an alum that's done that and to see him after a Coach of the Year season uh, be in this spot, I'm sure people around the country just wonder why that is. To be fair to Kevin Anderson, the new athletic director, he inherited an, uh, an interesting situation, to say the least, with James Franklin, a coach in waiting who's ready to be a coach, and Ralph, who'd like to be extended, but for who knows how long, and you've got you've got empty suites from a, from a stadium expansion from a, a couple of seasons ago that you need to try to fill. So. I, I, it's a fickle fan base, uh, Dari, that I know pretty well from having grown up in Bird Stadium back in the late 70s, that it's hard to capture the imagination of that group. And even though Ralph had a nice year this year, there just weren't that many folks in the seats when they played NC State, and I think that really hurt Maryland in terms of its bowl game. So is it fair? It's hard to say it's fair, but it's business, and it's a brutal business, and that's why I think that, uh, that you're seeing this, this happen at this time.